Warm greetings from the Directorate of Virtual and Blended Learning. This short video is to demonstrate how to install the Safe Examination Browser uh, into your computer so that you can be able to undertake this trimester's examination. Initially, we already sent an email to all of you who are taking online examinations and we have already put up the instructions. You are supposed to get into this particular website the safeexambrowser.org website and be able to download the uh, version of Safe Exam Browser compatible with your operating system. The Safe Exam Browser is compatible with Windows operating system, the Mac operating system, as well as the iOS, which is on iPads or your iPhone. However, uh, for your information, all examinations will be undertaken either on a laptop a tablet or a computer that uh, has an, uh, a webcam and a microphone uh, connected to it. So I will click on this particular link and it takes me to the page where the Safe Exam Browser uh, can be downloaded from. So notice here Safe Exam Browser has versions for Windows, the Mac OS, and iOS. So I will click on the one for Windows. However, you'll notice that if I scroll down, there will also be a link for the Mac OS download and there will also be one for the iOS that is on, also on your iPad. So because I had started, uh, I'll just click on this for the Windows and already the download will start shortly. But for purposes of this uh, demonstration, I already had one. Uh, so I'll resume that particular uh, download and it's already uh, taking place so I will continue with this So it's almost completing and this will uh, the installation file which is normally a .exe file will be downloaded on my downloads folder of my computer so if I go to my downloads folder I will get to see already um, an unconfirmed download that is taking place and that will go on uh, up until my download is completed and I can see it's almost done so I will go back to my folder and wait for it to be to complete downloading and I will get to see the .exe file that will allow me to undertake the installation so it is already here and I will double click on this particular file it will open up the installation uh, page and I will click on I agree to the license terms and click on the install button so this will now install this file for me So we'll give it a minute or two in the meantime I there is also an installation file after you've installed the safe exam browser there is an installation file that I have sent to all of you as students that you need to double click on install right after installing the safe exam browser so I had already installed I had already downloaded this in my computer and uh, put it up into my documents folder and renamed it to one.seb so this is my file so after installation of the safe exam browser I will be able to now double click on this particular installation the client settings file which is a .seb uh, to ensure that now I can be able to undertake my examinations so we'll just give this a minute and it will complete installation
Remember once the installation is complete and you have done also the client settings installation, running the safe exam browser is like opening any other application. And once you open this particular application, you will be required to uh, type in your username, that is your Kemo email address, as well as a password. And once you have logged in successfully, it will take you directly to the digital campus uh, site. And you can now then be able, through the various course cards that you have on the dashboard, undertake the examinations as guided. Uh, through the various training sessions that we conducted this semester. So let's just give this another minute. So once this is successfully installed, I can now click on close and then I will now double click on this uh, setting that as I said I've shared with you and you will be told the client configuration has been saved and will be used when you start SCP the next time. Do you want to quit for now and you will click yes. And for me to start the safe examination browser, I'll just click on, uh, I'll type here on the search field, safe, and notice that it already shows up here. I will click on open. And that should be able to, and that is how you actually install the Safe Examination Browser as well as the client settings for you to be able to launch the Safe Exam Browser to start doing your examinations. Thank you.